Okay, hi everyone. Welcome back to Blueprint DIY. If you missed our um, video last week uh, about our new sneaky mommy um, surprise twins, and they are boys. And so I wanted to show you guys how to make a pacifier or how I made the pacifier for these guys and how um, we're gonna make a bottle for them. This is a bottle from a girl baby that we made. Um, she's a baby alive, Daisy. And so we're going to make a bottle for these guys. And so next we are going to make the um, pacifier. Start this project with an old pacifier. We're going to use a Q-tip and we're also going to use some scissors and we're going to use a glue gun. The first thing we're gonna do is to go ahead and cut the nipple off of the pacifier. So then we're gonna cut the end off of one of the Q-tips. And then for the other side, we're actually gonna use that. And we're going to build up so that, um, the reason I'm using this side is to try to give it kind of a base so that it won't, um, come off as easy because we are using the glue gun. Um, I could use a stronger glue, but I just wanted it to do it fast. So I am using hot glue. And definitely kids, ask parent permission to use a glue gun and don't use the glue gun without um, parent supervision or parent help if you need it. Okay, so I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm gonna take quite a bit of glue and build it up in the middle like a little cone. And I'm gonna put this right in the middle. really straight as I can. And then I'm gonna take the glue gun. I'm gonna use the glue gun to, sorry for how dirty my glue gun is. I always sit it on a piece of cardboard to keep it from, you know, keep the glue from falling on the floor. But anyway, I'm just gonna to try to build up the glue around the Q-tip so that it covers all of the paper part of the Q-tip. or the, the cotton part, I'm sorry, of the Q-tip. And then I'm just gonna wait. Well, first I wanna make sure that it's absolutely straight. And I also, once it starts to dry a little bit, I want to flatten it out. I'm gonna use the back of my nail to flatten it out a little bit. So that I'm going to try to see if it can fit in the baby's mouth a little bit better. Pretty dry now, but I'm going to let that dry all the way. And then I'm going to stick it in the baby's mouth and see how long I actually want this stick to be and then I'm gonna cut off the excess I'll probably cut it to about right there for this particular doll because I you, when you first cut the first um, q-tip you want to put it in the baby's mouth and see how far it'll go see if it fits see how far it'll go see if it's too loose or whatever and then with this baby it is loose but if you make it really long then it goes to a part where it will be nice and snug in there so you can see how that fits and so it's not perfect but it is a pacifier for that baby okay so now we're gonna do our bottle and we're gonna start out, this came from Dollar Tree, 
and it is glitter glue and it, of course it was a dollar and they come in little packets like these and I'm only gonna I'm only gonna make one bottle right now because I don't want to waste any more glitter glue I kind of like this pink and purple and I know that Gabrielle will so I am going to not make another bottle until we finish using the rest of this glitter glue but just for you guys I wasted a whole bottle of glue well not a whole bottle I poured half of it in another bottle and just mixed it but um, I emptied the glitter glue out first and then I washed it out I put some um, dishwashing um, liquid in here and with some water and put the top on and shook it up and just did that until I got all of the glitter out. I also used stuck a paintbrush in there to kind of wipe it around because some of the glitter gets stuck on the out the inside and so I just wipe use the paintbrush in there to wipe it around and that helped to get it out. Now to get the lettering off and I tried the nail polish remover and actually you really need pure acetone but I do not have any so the next best thing with a little bit of um, elbow grease and a magic eraser I am just going to rub and I've already gotten some of it off and so it takes some effort and so I am going to keep doing this until it all comes off. Like I said, acetone would be easier, but that's not something that any child should be playing around with. So um, if you are a kid and you're doing this, just take the magic eraser and scrub it, scrub it, scrub it, and it will eventually come off. Okay, so now I have a pretty clean bottle. There's a couple of spots that were caught in grooves that I just didn't have the patience to get because I am going to use a few stickers just like I did for this one. I'm going to use Thomas the Train because it's a boy's bottle. And I am also going to tie a little ribbon around it um, when I get finished. Um, just to give it a little extra touch. So I'm going to pick out my stickers. Let's see what stickers we want to use. I'm just going to place my sticker there. Okay, so I think I covered all of my black marks. Okay, so we have a Thomas the Train bottle and so this is the top to the glitter and it comes off like that and so for this one I cut this off of here and put hot glue here and put it back on because and then well first I put a hole here because for Daisy the baby alive um, Daisy's mouth is bigger than these babies, so I needed an extra like um, layer. So I added a hole in there with an exacto knife, and so that's why this one is going to be slightly bigger. But for this one, I'm just going to leave it as is, and this will just be the cap. So for this baby, it fits in his mouth pretty well. So I'm going to put it, the cap back on. Okay, so we're going to tie a knot and then I'm going to make a bow. All right, now let's cut the hands. And there we have it, a cute little bottle for a baby boy. Do you guys want to test him to see if it works? Let's put some water in here and test it and see if it works. All right, let's turn him on. Baby 
baby's hand, just like a baby alive. You squeal. Okay guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing how I get ready for a sneaky mommy surprise. Now everything is ready for Gabrielle's surprise. In the very next video, you'll see her getting her surprise and you'll get to see if she likes it. I hope she does. Let me know in the comments section if you think she will. See you next time. Bye.